Very happy to have in studio once again my man, Colin Amos from Goldberg Jones. Colin, it's great to see you. Good to be here. It's great to have you in studio. 1-800-DIVORCE is a telephone number. And like I tell people every time you come in, if you if they call 1-800-DIVORCE, if they're going through a custody issue or possibly going through a divorce, whatever the situation, you'll give them a free consultation over the phone, no obligation, and you point them in the right direction. You give them advice so that they can make the right choice on where to go. Yeah, definitely here to save lives. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, he is. It's Colin Amos. And uh, something we do each and every week, he gets questions that come in uh, via the website, and we're going to uh, answer those right now. From Portland, it says, I have a seven-year-old son with my ex-girlfriend. We have been separated for the last six months, and I have him every other weekend and times during the week. She consistently jerks me around and changes the times. She says that if I mess with her, she will use the fact that I am an alcoholic against me, and I will only get supervised visitation. I have been clean for two years. Is this true? This we hear a lot because there's a lot of manipulation that goes, a lot of coercion. And uh, guys especially, they're nervous because they, they have this feeling that uh, the, de- the deck is stacked against them, that if they go into court that they're going to lose their rights. And it's not the, the way it works. So with that, uh, that's a perfect example of, you know, you just have to use a little logic in that one and say, so she's giving you every other weekend. She's been doing this for the last two years or uh, since you've been separated. And now all of a sudden, because you go to court, now you're danger around the child. It doesn't make sense. The court's not going to listen to it. You know, the court is there to su- support a father and a mother's right to have a visitation and a relationship with the child. People make mistakes. It's not about making a mistake. It's what you do thereafter. He's been clean for two years. He's going to be fine. He needs to file uh, a petition to take that control away from her so he has an objective, uh, good parenting relationship with this child that she cannot continue to jerk him around with. Hmm. All right. This next question here from Oregon City is interesting. It says, uh, I've been separated from my wife for five years and want a divorce. I don't know where she lives and actually don't care. Can I get one? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it's a, amazing how much this goes on because people just separate and they just go off and they just forget about it. And then generally they need to get married again. And all of a sudden now they have to get an emergency divorce. But uh, in that situation, you can't just file it. You're going to have to make an effort to locate her. It's very expensive, actually, to just file and try to uh, to not serve her. But the court expects you to have personal service. So we're going to have to hire a PI, uh, chase them down on the Internet, make a reasonable effort. If they can't locate her, then we're going to go through other alternative means to get orders to serve her by publication. But it's going to take a little bit of effort to locate her. And hopefully you can because it's a lot cheaper if you can just serve her and just get this thing over with. It's Colin Amos from Goldberg Jones with us here. You can call 1-800-DIVORCE for your free consultation. This question comes from Hillsborough, Colin. It says, my wife left me for another woman. She is going out a lot partying, and I don't care much for her lifestyle. I have a 12- and an 8-year-old. Can I get custody? Uh, well, sure. Uh, it depends on the, the actual uh, circumstances. Uh, this, again, is uh, certainly more common than you would expect. Um, the issue of her going out and partying, and that's going to have impact on the custody and visitation. So much her dating another woman is not. But uh, it's it's a valid question if they're they're not taking care of the kids, they're not uh, following through with their parent, parental responsibilities, and you can prove this that uh, she you know she's leaving the kids alone with somebody else. But uh, you know it it depends on how involved this gentleman has been with the child, how how much he's in, uh, taking care of the day to day needs. So that's that's critical. All right, uh, this question from Vancouver says my wife met a guy on Facebook and now wants a divorce. We have been married for fourteen years and don't have kids. I make twice as much as she does. Do I really have to pay alimony? I don't feel I should have to support her and her new boyfriend. Uh, well, certainly Facebook is not uh, helping many marriages these days, um, as well as other social media. But, um, you know, great experience out there. But it's uh, the fact that she's dating another man doesn't have impact uh, with regard to the spouse support. Uh, remarriage may, but uh, you know, unfortunately, however long you've been married is going to dictate, and, and the lack of skills the, the individual has uh, not followed through with and uh, developed throughout the marriage will make a big difference on spouse support. So unfortunately, while it may seem you're supporting this other gentleman, what you're really doing is trying to give your, your ex-wife an opportunity to get on her feet, and then it'll go away after a period of time unless you've been married a, a very long time, and you might have indefinite exposure for spouse support. It's Colin Amos. He's in studio right now from Goldberg Jones, the law offices of Goldberg Jones. You can call him at 1-800-DIVORCE. This question from Portland, Colin, it says, I've been married for 22 years and have significant assets. I am particularly concerned about my stock options. I have a traditional five-year vesting plan, meaning that I am issued stock and it does not actually vest until I stay with the company for five years. How do you determine the value in a case like this? 
Yeah, this one you, you see a lot. I mean, there's a lot of companies, certainly like Intel or Nike, they have a stock option plan. Uh, traditional vesting is usually five years, although some are now bringing it down to four years, where stock is issued in year one, it has a period of time, and then it vests after you put in the service. It's a way to keep uh, employees uh, working for the company. Uh, there's some cases, especially in Oregon, they've come down uh, mainly from Intel that really says how are we going to value it? Because when you're issued a stock, and if you're not, if you don't stay there, you're not going to. It's not going to vest with you, so it really has very little value in the year it's issued. But then, of course, right before uh, it vests, it's worth a lot more. So there's actually a formula that helps us figure out what that value is, so that we can not argue about it incessantly through a divorce. We just kind of plug it into this formula. It values these uh, stocks. So it's a much more straightforward than people would think. It's Colin Amos in studio from Goldberg and Jones. Uh, 1-800-DIVORCE is the telephone number. You said now a lot of times for people is a good time to call because there's custody issues uh, with parents because the school year is about to end, which means you got summertime. That's right. Now's the time to get it figured out when you got the summertime, but you want to get uh, your visitation and custody figured out for the school year coming up.